What is it? It's got all these different components. What are the components of the edge? What is this thing? Y'all tell me. Contact. It's a contact manager, okay? What else is it? Lead management. It's a lead, what did you say? Lead management. It's a lead management system. All right, great. What else? It's a transaction manager. And what else is it? Marketing. It's a marketing system. Now, this should look familiar. We've got my leads, my marketing, my contacts, and my transactions. Now, your region pioneered the my transactions piece. You should be very proud of that because what you did helped, helped it to launch all over the country. So within my transactions, we've got three functions, okay? The agents get online signatures, or they get online, they get online forms, they get digital signatures, and they also get document storage. And you're probably farther along with Dot Loop than any other region in the country. So when we look at this My Transactions, they're replacing an online form system, they're replacing a digital signature system, and they're replacing a document storage system with one tool, which is coming from the vendor, Dot Loop. Now let's go up here to My Leads. Leads are going to flow into the eEdge system from several different sources. The first and most obvious source is going to be the agent's eEdge website. So if the consumer hits the website, they make an inquiry, that lead is going to flow into the eEdge lead manager. The second place that leads are going to flow in from are anything that's related to kw.com. So that would be any consumer that hits kw.com and finds the agent there, and anything that comes from the agent's e-agency website. That's the other website that they've all had. One of the things I hear asked is, is that e-agency website going to go away? The answer is no. That website is here. We just now have an additional tool. So anytime the consumer hits anything controlled by KW, those leads are also going to flow in to the My Leads section of eEdge. Now the third place that leads are going to come from is our syndication partners. Those syndication partners are other websites out online where KWLS sends data to the partners. So those, those sites would be like Trulia and Zillow. For the purposes of this discussion, we're going to take Realtor.com and we're going to put it right over here in the corner. Okay, so when we talk about these syndication partners, this does not include Realtor.com. Does that make sense? Okay. So these leads are going to flow in from our syndication partners through the data that comes from our KWLS. And we're going to talk a little bit about that in a few minutes. So here our leads are coming in. The other way that a lead can come in is an agent can transfer a lead from their e-edge to another agent's e-edge if they were doing a referral. Okay. So now, inside e-edge, we've got my leads, my contacts, my marketing, my transactions. We've got some vendor partners here with e-edge. So who is it, which vendor is it that runs the My Leads portion of eEdge? Market Leader. Market Leader. Okay, I'm going to put ML. All right, the My Contacts piece of eEdge. Who's the vendor for that? Market Leader. Okay. The My Marketing component of eEdge has recently changed. It was a partnership between Imprev and Market Leader. And then Market Leader purchased another marketing platform, took that platform and integrated it into the eEdge system to give us what we call the new My Marketing. So this My Marketing now is also run by Market Leader. Now, if the agents choose to do any print and mail marketing, that marketing is going to be printed and mailed by another vendor. Who is that vendor? Shutterfly. Shutterfly. Okay, so we've got Shutterfly in here too. Now the vendor for my transactions, we all know who it is, Dot Loop. 
So as you can see, we've got a lot of moving parts to the E-Edge system. We've got at least three vendors in here, plus the MLS also works inside of E-Edge as well. So we have all these different pieces and parts, but what is E-Edge? E-Edge is the platform that sits in the middle that allows these different components to talk to each other. It acts like a switchboard. And E-Edge is written with what's called an open API. And that, to quote Maggie, is the end of my geeky goddessness. Mm -hmm. Okay, all I know about that is that it's an open piece of code that allows these programs to plug in and it allows the data to flow in and flow out to the other programs. So this is what you were asking over here. A lead flows in from kw.com or from their eEdge website. Okay, those leads come in, they go into the contact manager, and then from the contact manager they can go into a marketing program and then they can actually turn into a transaction and flow into my transactions. So be, without this piece in the middle, these things wouldn't work together. Does that make sense? Okay, I was on an, a, a Facebook forum the other day, and there was an agent who had left Keller Williams, and she was on this forum, and she was angry and blasting uh, some of the vendors because now she, she still had their products, but they didn't talk to each other. Yeah, exactly. She, did you see that, James? She did not get that that was where the value was in Keller Williams because nobody else has this that allows it to talk. Okay, the MLS data comes in, flows in, goes right into the marketing pieces. It's this, it's this open API. I think of it sometimes like your fifth grade biology. It's like a permeable cell membrane. Remember when you talked about cells in elementary school? It's like that permeable membrane. So these are the pieces that we have now. With this open API, we now have more possibilities. So it could be in the future that other programs and products might plug in to the E-Edge system. So let's think for a minute about a wish list. And I read that orange was a color of possibility. So I usually use orange for this when we're talking about a wish list. So when you think about what your agents use every day, because the goal here is that they have one place that they go for everything that they need so that they're not having to go to 15 different websites. Because guys, how long is the attention span of our agents? How long is our attention span? You know, it's even shorter, right? So we want them to have to go to one place to get everything that they need. So with that being said, what other tools, products do they use every day that you go, wow, what if that just plugged in and worked with our eEdge platform? Social media, okay? So yeah, social media. Maybe they would have some kind of plug-in that would allow them to access the social media statuses inside the contact record. Now, guys, did I say that this was gonna integrate tomorrow? Yeah. No, we are talking in possibility, right? Okay, what else do they use every day? The reason they're not getting that top for Facebook is the action plans. The action plans, all right. We're gonna go right here with action plans. All right, do you guys hear that objection? I, ca I can't do it without my action plans. And is it valid? Yes. Absolutely, okay. What else? Calendar. A calendar, all right, I was hoping you would say that. These two things right here are tied together inextricably, right? Because we cannot have an action plan that tells you three days after you started to do X, Y, and Z without a calendar to put those things on, right? So these two things are tied together. We can't have an action plan without a calendar. These two pieces right now are in development. Okay, and we're hearing within the next quarter that they should be out and live. And if we have time today, I can do a little sneak peek of the action plans for you. If you guys will remind me at the end of the day, we'll take a look at kind of a sneak peek of the action plans. So these two are coming, and they're being developed, from what I understand, by KWRI. So the cool thing about that is, they're getting all the feedback from our agents about what they want. I was at family reunion at a small 
focus group about the action plans. And in that group, there were single agents, there were agents with the team, there were market center staff, 